What's up guys, Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. I'm super excited. I wanna share with you my thoughts on how I feel that 2019 is gonna be an amazing year for game collectors. Those gamers who are out on the hunt, checking out thrift stores. Now, I'm gonna to be totally honest. What I'm about to tell you, some gamers I think are gonna maybe not really find some games it's kind of be maybe hit or miss. Uh, sometimes you can like maybe go to a garage shell and earlier that day, right before you get there, there could have been an amazing score on a bunch of games. You just weren't there at the right time. But I also feel that some of you guys out there are gonna score very well and do really, really amazing in finding some great deals at some of these thrift stores and little mom and pop places that sell games and, and used stuff. And for those of you watching, you might be asking, what exactly are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about the hit show, Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with the show on Netflix, uh, Marie actually, she's a published author. She has a book talking all about tidying up, simplifying your life, and getting rid of things that, that don't spark joy or things that you really don't need in your house, whether it's books, movies, clothing, um, video games, and really simplifying your life. And seriously, guys, this show on Netflix, a lot of people are watching it. Like millions of people are really into the show. Every single person I've talked, it's amazing. Like my friends that I've talked to, they said like by, episode, by the end of episode two, later that night, they're in their house tidying up where they're getting things together that they might not necessarily need anymore. And they're getting ready to donate these things to the thrift stores, okay? Well, let me put things in perspective. In the United States alone, there's over 25,000 thrift stores, okay? So if you average that out, think about the millions of people watching the show, and a lot of people don't have games, but a lot of people do have games. Think about all the gems, all like the games that their kids left behind and went to college, and they don't have to deal with selling these games on eBay or deal with Craigslist. So, you know, I'll just take it to Goodwill or I'll take it to my local thrift store. 25,000 thrift stores in the United States alone. So on average, let's just say because of the show, that you know, within a month or two, that like 40 extra games gets taken to each thrift store. You're talking about a million games going to the thrift store. And you might be thinking, Jimmy, that's kind of high. And I would imagine some thrift stores might not get that amount, but seriously, some thrift stores are gonna get a lot more than 40 games. This is my opinion, okay? There's a lot of people out there that you know have their games at home and they, they don't wanna, you know, they're not gonna let their, their girlfriend or boyfriend or, or whoever or family member take games to the thrift store. I totally understand that, but I really feel that because of this show, Tidying Up with Marie Kondo, that millions of games as a result of this in 2019, this show is gonna bring in millions of games to the thrift stores worldwide. Either they're gonna, they're either gonna sell a lot of these games on eBay and Craigslist, or they're gonna donate these games. Some, unfortunately, are probably gonna toss these games and throw them away, Totally understandable. They're like, oh, you know, this is a copy of Madden 07. I, I can't get anything for it. That's that's kind of understandable. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I really feel that some of you guys out there are gonna score very, very well, and that, that this year could be really, really well for some of you game collectors. Um, you know, I'm not saying, again, you that you have to go to the thrift store every single day, but this might be a good year for game collectors with this show, if you think about it you know, with the whole, with every action, there's a reaction. Because of the show, because of millions of people watching the show, a lot of these people are gonna be getting rid of tons of their stuff, lots of their movies, lots of their books, lots of their clothing, and lots of their games. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out that well for me. I am hoping it, what it will be if it, you know, if people are really getting rid of their stuff, again, if you live in like a smaller town, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people on your block, a lot of people in your neighborhood are watching Netflix. A lot of them have games that you don't even know about. They're gonna take them to the to the um, thrift store. I mean, there's just a lot of things going through my mind. Who knows, maybe you need to like put an ad in the newspaper and go, hey, I'll uh, take used video games off your hand if you're just wanting to tidy up. I don't know, get creative because this could be a real opportunity. I'm kind of going on a tangent, but I think this could actually be a great year for gamers and game collectors with 
and getting some, some extra games for your collection. Let me know your thoughts on this thing. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.